So Sakshi ji, how excited uh, uh, are you about uh, forthcoming web show Mai? Uh, I'm very excited, uh, Barkha. I have been waiting for this for a very long time. Um, we started uh, shooting for this in 2020, March. And uh, uh, barely three days after the shoot, we went into the lockdown and then we all know what happened. So um, it has been a long wait. Uh, finally, the series is complete and it's going to uh, be uh, shown. So uh, I have been waiting for this for a long time and I'm really excited for it. So, uh, Sakshi ji, in my your character, your character is of a mother and a wife who accidentally gets to see a dark side. So, how's your character? You feel is similar or different from the roles or characters that you have played in the past? <clears throat> it's very different, uh, Barka. Uh, honestly, uh, this is something that I've never done before. This kind of uh, uh, a character. I have uh, done uh, lots and lots of uh, mother roles, but uh, this is very different. The graph of this character is very different from whatever I have done. Uh, it starts as a very uh, uh, docile, meek uh, woman, a mother, and uh, finally uh, she she accidentally gets sucked into, uh, you know the dark side the dark world and uh, how it transforms her and how she by the end of it is totally merciless so it has been a great journey with a lots of uh, ups and downs in terms of uh, what uh, uh, the character goes through and uh, it's it's everything it's a story of revenge it's a crime thriller. It's a, it's a family story also. And uh, yeah, there is a lot of intrigue. Uh, it's very layered. So uh, in a lot of ways, it's very different from uh, what I have done. From what you are telling me, it sounds very versatile. So which, element, which elements of the character you like the most, Sakshi ji? And uh, some elements maybe uh, that you uh, in personal life also, uh, you, you find yourself relating with those elements? Uh, so uh, there is no similarity as such because uh, it's of course a work of fiction and uh, it doesn't have to be similar, uh, you know, as an actor, we portray so many characters and uh, we go through so many emotions that we've not even touched upon in our real life. And Mai is one such uh, uh, character, uh, one such uh, story. Uh, so relatability, I think one universal thing which I can say is that of a uh, mother's love, uh, love for her child, you know, which is, I think, the most relatable thing. Um, apart from that, uh, there are a lot of uh, extraordinary situations that she uh, is in and uh, a lot of extraordinary circumstances that she goes through and which, uh, you know, make her the person she becomes um, accidentally by choice, whatever we'll, you know, come to know uh, mm -hmm. when we see the show. Mm -hmm. But yes, uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a very heavy portrayal of a mother's feeling. And uh, that is something not every mother goes through in real life. Mm -hmm. So similarities are none. But uh, nonetheless, it was a great character to portray. Do you some way feel that it also it's also similar uh, to the movie Mom, uh, in which Sri Devi ji played the similar kind of character and uh, she faces maybe similar kind of situation when it comes to her daughter? So, um, I think uh, it's very different from that. And uh, that will, uh, once you see the show, you'll be able to uh, say that yourself. Mm, the circumstances and uh, the journey is quite different. Uh, yes, the uh, element of the mother seeking justice for her child and the mother's love for her child, that may be common but mm -hmm. it's been explored and presented very differently. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, do you feel that, do you think that the stories like my also happen in real life? Uh, again, uh, see, it's not a very ordinary thing to happen, you know, like uh, mm -hmm. a mother in the center of a crime uh, uh, situation is not a very common thing. Uh, and uh, this is something which is, uh, you know, which someone has imagined that this mother witnesses her daughter's accident, which turns out to be a murder, and then she goes about avenging her death. So uh, it's not a very common real life thing. Um, yeah, so I mean, it's difficult to draw parallels. Mm -hmm. I can. Yes, you're right about it. So, uh, Sakshi ji, this was also maybe your first time that you got to work, um, uh, you know, with the production house of Anushka Sharma and now with her brother's production house. So, how was your experience of working with them? Uh, they're very sweet and uh, uh, very uh, clear with what they are doing and very organized. So it was a very smooth, uh, uh, you know, the, the shoot and the pre and the post, everything was very organized and very smooth. And the good part is that they've always come up with uh, stories that are uh, female oriented, that have very strong female characters. And uh, they've come up with uh, uh, some very good shows on OTT in the past, like uh, Patalok and... Uh, Bulbul. So I think it was a great opportunity for me also to be able to uh, collaborate with them on my and uh, more so because it was also on Netflix. So um, uh, I think it was a great combination. And how did you land this job, uh, this role? How, how did you encounter with them? How did you get the offer for this role? And were you skeptical about choosing a role which is, uh, you know, in a different genre and which is so challenging? So I got a call one day from um, Webha from Anti-Casting. That's a casting agency. And he said that uh, we are doing a show uh, uh, for Netflix and it's being produced by Clean, uh, Clean Slate. So that was two takes already. I was like, okay, that sounds great. Mm -hmm. And then uh, they wanted me to uh, test for the main character's uh, part, Shield's part. So uh, somewhere I was not uh, very confident that uh, I will land this role. But anyway, I went to meet the showrunner, the director and the writer, Atul Mongia. Mm -hmm. I'd heard a lot about him. He is a casting director and he does a lot of acting workshops. So this was my first chance to meet him. So I had uh, uh, this thought in my mind that uh, even if I don't land the role, I will do this with all my heart. Mm -hmm. And uh, when I went there, uh, uh, we of course discussed the role and then we did a small workshop uh, where he, uh, where, where we did the uh, most uh, crucial scenes from the series. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm glad they liked what I did. I had gone without any expectations. And uh, uh, I, I think the same evening I got a call from Webhav saying that they're very happy and they want to uh, take this further. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, uh, everything was finalized and uh, we were already shooting in uh, some time. Um, what was the other part of the question? Sorry. Yeah, I was. It was like how challenging was it for you to ace the character? Yes. So, uh, see, uh, when I first read it, I was like, "Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! This is like you know." Every... And you look very docile and very sweet and very fragile, also, which so is the challenge hmm. uh, because I had to completely transform. So hmm. I had to play this initially, and hmm. then I had to completely transform into this. Uh, merciless avenging mother and uh, I think the thing that helped me the most were the workshops uh, that we did with uh, Atul sir, Atul Mongia mm -hmm. with all the actors so uh, 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 we would sit down, we would read out the scenes, we would discuss it and uh, sorry 
that's fine uh, and we would discuss the scenes and uh, you know every actor uh, would share his or her point of view and then uh, with the help of the director we would sort of come to like a common ground ki okay this is the premise mm. in which we are going to do this scene mm. those workshops really helped uh, so one uh, when when i went to the set i somewhere knew my graph uh, the mapping becomes easier mm. uh, and uh, i think the the credit for this goes to of course atul sir atul mongia because uh, he really helped each one of us in doing that because he had the, the exact mapping of every character in his mind hmm. so even when somewhere sometimes i would get stuck and i would ask him uh, that i am not able to map it he would help me he you know this is how uh, this is where it's coming from and this is where it's going so you mm-hmm. find that space and you do the scene mm-hmm. and uh, of course uh, the story uh, in itself is uh, the script i mean is written so well that uh, it helps an actor so mm-hmm. even if you're just uh, going by that flow half your job is done mm-hmm. and then on set when you get uh, your uh, your your co actors vibes and everything uh, and such a brilliant cast it has i mean ek se badhkar ek wale sare actors hain aur uh, everyone has given their 100% so there has been so much give and take uh, while shooting that um, it it just kept adding layers to the story and character because every actor comes with you know his uh, uh, strong points Mm-hmm. and that just help the whole scene become much much better absolutely sakshi ji aap aapne kahani ghar ghar ki se humne aapko dekha aur aapne ek wo era age bhi dekhi hai jab tv develop ho raha tha aur ab web series the world of web entertainment is also developing you have seen and witnessed both the sides so how has uh, the change uh, you know influenced you and what is your opinion about this change which is happening in the web world also and the tv world also and which particular uh, you know arena or the vertical you enjoy the most working in akriti i think i consider myself very very fortunate that i got to experience the best of mm-hmm. every medium when i was doing television television was something else uh the shows we were doing were like they're huge success stories you know they uh, were on air for 8 years mm-hmm. and uh, we were a part of everybody's life mm-hmm. you know and that kind of success was something one had never imagined happening for tv actors per se mm-hmm. but mm-hmm. it happened and i was fortunate that i was there at that time you know mm-hmm. and then i feel that i'm blessed that now the whole thing is shifting and changing with the ott uh, coming in the picture and i i really feel that you know i'm again here at the right place at the right time i don't know uh, i think i consider it destiny more than anything else uh, but uh, yes i have seen the best of every medium i have enjoyed them Uh, at that time i i i i can proudly say that television was at its best and um, whatever i am today it's because of uh, my journey in television uh and now that i am doing ott i feel that this is the right space to be in for any actor um because so much is being done there are all kind of stories all kind of subjects and characters there is so much to uh, explore experience and ex- experiment that uh, uh, you know you you can just choose like how the audience can choose what to watch hmm. similarly an actor can choose what to do hmm. uh, there are so many choices uh, uh, and uh, i'm glad that even filmmakers and platforms are uh, choosing talent based on the requirement of the character 
mm-hmm. not because uh, any star should do it but because you fit the bill and uh, that's how a lot of uh, talented actors are being seen and they're getting their dues so right now to definitely uh, this is the best uh, platform to be on sakshi ji do you feel that there are any women oriented subjects or issues that still need to be emphasized with the medium of uh, cinema or web entertainment or tv which is in which you know we are lagging somewhere a lot has already is already being done and has already been done because we have seen so many strong uh, female characters uh, lately uh, especially in ott mm-hmm. you know we we have seen um, shifali in delhi crimes or mm-hmm. madhuri ji in a fame game or mm-hmm. uh, ravina ji in aranyak and uh, it's nice that uh, uh, storytellers are choosing to tell stories that are revolving around women mm-hmm. and uh, issues that are concerning women uh, also what i like is that it i mean what i feel is that it doesn't have to be any gender specific Uh, a story is a story i mean we of course categorize it as a woman oriented or uh, whatever but i feel that every character male or female contributes to a story because mm. it's neither a man's world alone not a woman's world alone mm. so i feel it's high time that we start um uh, uh, you know giving the character its due irrespective of the gender so i'm glad that gender neutral stories are also uh, coming now and people are receiving them well uh, but yes um, of and just like that i can't say anything but i'm sure there are a lot of subjects that are not touched upon there are a lot of facets of a woman that are still uh, you know not come out uh, which uh, can make beautiful stories Uh, i feel a lot of rural stories uh, need to be told i feel a lot of um, you know women achiever stories uh, need to be told and i feel that uh, uh, with ott uh, we will see uh, a lot more uh, of women centric subjects than what we have seen in the past please allow me to ask you a personal question also sakshi ji you still look the same and what do you do to keep yourself so beautiful always and keep yourself maintained what is the mantra of your fitness and uh, the, you know the beauty you oh, know where i i now wear glasses where do i look do you same? still look the same i mean the way i used to see you in kahani ghar ghar ki aur bade acche lagte hain so what are you doing to yourself to keep so well maintained and good looking no that's very sweet of you uh, barka thank you so much for this compliment but uh, honestly i think it's uh, for years i have had the same routine um, mm-hmm. you know i uh, we have a very disciplined routine at home so we wake up at the same time do the morning routine and eat uh, at the same time every day even uh, during my shoots and all i make sure that i eat uh, at a particular time so that has been fixed for over many many years now also what i eat i eat very simple i'm a vegetarian and I, i'm not a foodie so i think that has helped me a lot because i don't experiment much my much with my food i eat very basic i can eat khichdi for days khichdi dalia dal chawal mm-hmm. sabzi roti uh, that's uh, you know uh, most of the time i'm eating only that mm-hmm. so i think because my food and my routine has been the same for many years mm-hmm. i may be looking the same to you mm-hmm. but other than that um i i just try to sleep matlab get my sleep uh uh what else uh i spend a lot of family time uh, a lot of happy time with my friends and this thing i'm not on social media all these things give mm-hmm. a lot of time uh, to me for myself and i think that somewhere maybe it helps i don't know <laughs> yeah so you don't follow any diet or any diet you don't believe in the, in any diet fads what about your fitness regime uh, do you go for yoga or exercise or any other form of fitness yes uh, nothing uh, but yes uh, i have a 
uh, four year old at home so mm-hmm. last two years she was my <laughs> gym uh, mm-hmm. because of covid and uh, you know i was at home uh, i was 24/7 on my toes uh, with her for her Mm-hmm. so that has what has kept me uh, fit i feel uh, that it's as important to eat right and sleep well and uh, stay happy mm-hmm. uh, as it is to exercise and follow a fitness regime which mm-hmm. i feel can still be given up like mm-hmm. for two years i have not had a fitness re- regime i have not done any yoga Uh, or any other exercise mm-hmm. uh, yes but definitely uh, we must keep our body active in whichever way possible if you are uh, if you can take out at least half an hour 40 minutes for a walk that will really do wonders i mean it you need to sweat it out but yes my do- daughter makes me do all of it great so my last question to you would be sakshi ji you look like a very look and sound like a very sorted very balanced and down to earth uh, you know kind of a women so how uh, con- how con- content and how satisfied you feel in your career and any uh, any particular role or a character uh, you wish that you should play or you should have played which is left for you to still you know achieve that uh, desire or milestone in your career anything which is left out uh, i think barkha each and every role that i have done over the last 20 uh, 22 years actively hmm. have given me a lot of satisfaction and uh, contentment uh, so much so that after each of that got over i felt ki bas ab aur kitna hmm okay ab bahut but uh, god has been kind that uh, it kept happening and i kept getting roles that were you know bigger and uh, better than the previous one and i i kept getting a chance to uh, upgrade my skills or my you know abilities as an actor uh, like how it is in a reality show that you reach a level and then the challenge is higher mm-hmm. so then you have to gear up for that and then uh, reach there and then it kept getting higher and higher mm-hmm. and uh, today after uh, doing my i feel that i'm i'm extremely satisfied and content as an actor as a person and uh, as such there is no role on my wish list um but yes i will be always open to experimenting something new something which i have not done before uh, it could be any genre great wish you all the best